Hi guys, welcome to the healthcare channel. Today's video we'll talk about how to safely buy groceries during the coronavirus pandemic. Opting for a delivery service could be better immediately, especially if you're at a better risk of getting very ill from COVID-19. In our collective plan to flatten the curve, grocery shopping has become a minefield. We aren't alleged to leave our homes, yet we've to stay feeding ourselves, as a result, what want to be a comforting annoyance now feels dangerous. Are you able to touch that cereal box? Why is that person standing so close? There are tons of guidance on the way to handle the shop, and tons of it's confusing, if not contradictory. It's okay to urge groceries, we're told, but not too often. You almost certainly aren't getting to get coronavirus from touching the incorrect avocado, or a minimum of, scientists say transmission from food is unlikely. Maybe it's harder to seek out pasta now, but you shouldn't panic about shortages. To help us navigate this unsettling new world of grocery shopping, are you able to reuse your bags? Why isn't the yeast? We turn to the experts. When is that the best time to travel shopping? Traditionally, it has been early within the morning or late in the dark. But with major stores like Walmart, Albertsons and Trader Joe's cutting store hours, and more people working new hours from home, it's harder to inform lately. So there's brand new data out from Retail Aware, and that they are saying they checked out shopping patterns from March and April, NBC investigative and consumer correspondent Vicky Nguyen told today. The best times are Wednesdays and Thursdays before 10 a.m. for rock bottom crowds. Weekends are continuing to be the busiest times, so avoid the weekends if you'll when getting to the grocery. Independent supermarkets tend to be a touch less busy than the big box stores. Some stores within the US and abroad have introduced senior-only hours so as to accommodate individuals who are most in danger. What to try to before you go while shoppers can't control whom they're going to encounter within the store, they will make things easier and safer by preparing beforehand. Now, quite ever, Bateman recommends creating an inventory of what you'll decide to make and eat for the times ahead. Based on that list and your budget, make a concise shopping list. And do not just believe non-perishables. Fruits and vegetables provide a wealth of nutrients that support whole body health, including a robust system, said Bateman. Here's healthcare recommended grocery list for two weeks, 1. Grains, pasta, rice, and quinoa 2. High fiber foods, fruits, vegetables, and lentils 3. High protein foods, canned tuna, beans, frozen meat, tofu 4. Tortillas, because they last longer than bread. 5. Some treats are okay. Also, confirm to bring sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer with you to the shop. Prevention. Don't take the entire family along. In order to streamline the trip and keep grocery stores less crowded, limit what percentage of people you're taking with you, or go alone. Kids could also be attending school reception but, consistent with Bateman, they probably should not be buying food unless they're sufficiently old to assist and may be counted on to stay their hands far away from their faces, and other items within the store. Wear a mask. The CDC and therefore the Surgeon General have said that everybody going out into public for any reason to hide their nose and their mouth, said Nguyen. That doesn't need to be a politician's surgical mask. But everyone, including store employees, should be wearing masks. Some employees are becoming pushback. I feel now's the time to mention to your boss, this is that the guidance from the government, allow us to wear masks. The self-checkout could be an honest idea immediately, too, in terms of limiting contact with people. Just remember you are going to be touching tons of things. You do not want to touch your face, said Nguyen. But you're limiting your contact there upon cashier. That protects them, that protects you. Sanitize your surroundings. When you get to the shop, use a sanitizing wipe to massage high-touch areas like cart and basket handles. Use hand sanitizer, or wash your hands, immediately after leaving the checkout lane, especially if you used any sort of touchscreen for payment. Stay focused and be mindful. I think the simplest strategy is to limit some time within the store the maximum amount as possible, said Amanda J. Deering, a clinical professor within the Department of Food Science at Purdue University, a part of limiting one's time within the store means understanding the overall layout of aisles and knowing where everything is. Most perishables, produce and dairy are kept around the periphery of the shop, while shelf-stable processed foods and cleaning products are within the middle aisles, said Bateman. Decide to start with the non-perishable items on your list. Shop together with your eyes, not your fingers. Deering said the riskiest areas are going to be those with items people touch the foremost, like salad bars, which should be avoided these days, and therefore the produce section. 
Make these your last stops within the store to avoid transferring the virus, if present, to other areas, she said. Typically, picking produce involves touching and poking around for desired ripeness, but lately, it is best to avoid touching anything you do not need to and use your eyes to dictate what's fresh. For instance, avoid fresh foods with obvious bruises or brown spots. If the food comes in plastic packaging, be mindful of the touch just the one you would like to pick. If you're immunocompromised, consider buying pre-packaged produce. That likely has undergone strict sanitation standards at the packing site, added Bachman, who also advised cooking any raw vegetables to further hamper on the danger of contamination. Don't hoard. Unless you're buying dozens of individuals, buying a year's worth of food might not only cause potential waste, but it'll also make it harder for others to feed those in their households. Unless your family has been placed under quarantine, the present Department of Homeland Security guidelines recommends buying enough food to last for two weeks at a time. An equivalent goes for bathroom paper. When you get home, after you wash your hands, do not forget about washing your produce. There are no reported cases of COVID-19 being transmitted by ingesting food, but it's possible for the virus to measure on surfaces. Once you get home, scrub hard-skinned produce with a soft bristled vegetable brush, using warm water. Other sorts of produce, like fruits or leafy veggies, are often soaked for about quarter hour in water to urge obviate excess dirt. Confirm to rinse them thoroughly before consumption. There is a few research that says soaking fruits and vegetables in vinegar for 10 minutes will kill some bacteria, said Nguyen. There haven't been studies to mention whether it can kill coronavirus. Therefore the best advice is really to use running water and really scrub your fruits and vegetables. If you carry items range in reusable bags, confirm to wipe them down thoroughly, or wash them immediately, after returning home. In our next video, we will talk about, how to stay fit and active at home during the coronavirus self-isolation please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more recommendations on health, relationship, lifestyle and other helpful information to form life easier.